to skip the intro and go straight into it uh, as you see from the last video uh, i defeated the fear one of the toughest bosses in this game but uh let's go on with the show shall we let me get all this get that ointment come on climb, climb the ladder there we go Officially entering the Groznagrad. trailers but I'm not really focused on them in here let's take out that searchlight first and huh? there we go okay while that caution is going let me take care of this dog okay i thought i shot him with my other gun okay so the dog's out and you see where all these guys are Knock him out. He's out. That should eventually kick in. Okay, that searchlight out. I could, uh. There's nothing here. I knew there was another one around here somewhere. Well, I can see where he is. another doggy I want to make sure he stays asleep I couldn't find earlier. 
Come back and sneak by. Okay. Make sure I have the MK-22. Let's see if I can drop these two guys right here. E-199. Crap. How am I missing? Okay, they're both 99. Okay. Doo -doo. Okay, let's drop this guy right here. Night time. Oh, there's one right there. Night time. Never be too sure. And I might want to do this now. Camouflage face. No face paint. Uniform. Scientist. Okie dokie. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, what do you want? Why are you gonna call me not say anything? I need a uniform like that, but not his. Gotta wait for the colonel. He's around here somewhere. Let me make sure I have my SIG spray equipped, just in case. Saw a door open. Do do. It's probably not till later until I gotta do these. I think that's the colonel right there. If you ever get lost in the Metal Gear game, just switch to the codex and it'll walk you through it. I wonder where this guy's at. There he is, the guy that looks like riding. We got this guy's way. to do them in someplace special. Can't have nobody seeing what I'm doing. Get that damn cigarette out of my mouth. What was I thinking? Huh. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Get away from me, dude. Okay, that scientist blowing my cover. Huh. I mean, here I can technically, uh knock him out and get his uniform but I risk that dude just bolting out of that door and setting off an alarm so I'm gonna wait till Mr. Uh, Rykov here leaves time hopefully nobody sees me don't worry guy I'm not gonna give you the deed of treatment I'm just gonna take you up these stairs and get you out your clothes
Good thing I checked in here and make sure no one was in here. It'd be crazy if this guy woke up mid uh dragging like, dude, what are you doing? Oh boy, where am I thong? <laughs> hey man, no judgment from me. I don't care what you do in your spare time. Okay, let's do this real quick. Face. Where is it? Where is it? I probably should have just passed it. Mask. And uniform. Officer. There we go. Uh, let me go handle some business real quick. I don't got to worry about my cover being blown. Let's go in this room real quick. I'll take that. There we go. Take that. Do -do. Let's continue with the mission. <laughs> Hideo Kojima. <laughs> Here we go. Can't quite go in there. Shigabod, if I said that right. You can count on me. What about the Philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. What are you... Are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? <gasps> I know nothing, I swear it. <gasps> no one but the Colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh! from the friend. CIA. What are you doing here? I told you before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> A man of honor, just like your commander. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late? Don't tell me, the Shagahods. <laughs> exactly. The final preparations for phase two are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is Phase 2? 
To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear missiles from any type of terrain. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how to solve. The ICBMs we have today are simply too big for the Shagohod to carry. But the military would not hear of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. That is when I came up with the idea for Phase 2. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagohod. So how do you do it? By accelerating the Shagohod itself. Accelerating it? In Phase 2, a rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohod. The unit incorporates the same technology used in the Vostok rocket that sent Major Gagarin into space. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. That monster can go more than 300 miles per hour? Yes. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Yes, precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles? That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house ICBMs. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. It's a mobile fortress, capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. A weapon from hell. A completed prototype now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. But Volkin is planning to mass-produce them based on that prototype. And deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, to all the countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohod as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the Third World. His funds are nearly limitless. He could start mass production tomorrow if he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. It sounds like modern day but politics. The Shagohod goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. If such a weapon is unleashed on the world, it will not be long before all nations are engulfed in conflict. The Cold War will end, and the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Vulcan and the Shagohod will be at the center of it all. So you see, it's already too late. No, it's not too late. What do you mean? We've still got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. But... Just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. <laughs> All right. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow... Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3? You mean that cutting-edge plastic explosive? It could be molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. Where can I get it? There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here What's by the becoming Tatiana? Vulcan's <laughs> lover. I thought she was your lover. Mine? Oh, no. She is Volgin's lover. 
This is my lover. Who are they? My wife and daughter. They're in America. Now I remember. Your family is in the custody of the CIA. How long has Tatiana been here? Only a few weeks. A few days before the virtuous mission, then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data for the Shagohod. Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohod. I will, but first I've got to get you to safety. <sighs> no. I'm not going. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me. Sokolov! Khrushchev has abandoned me. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the Gulags. What about the U.S.? Yes, I once thought of that. My family's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, I would once again find myself creating weapons of mass murder. In the end, it doesn't matter where I go. I am still a weapons scientist. To be honest with you, I'm tired. Every day I help create things that should never be used. Things that should never have existed in the first place. Every day, without sleep. Without a word of praise from others. And my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. All I wanted to do was build space rockets. But it was not to be. The space race between America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. Please. Watch over my family. I feel bad for this dude now. Uh-oh. Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. Ah. <gasps> Whoa! I forgot this dude was a member of the community. Back when we could have gay and bisexual uh, characters with no forced agendas. Good times. <clears throat> Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. I know the Major better than anyone else. I bet you do. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Small gun for a big boy. Yeah, dude, so big, but simple. Uh, CQC takes him down. There she is. She gonna be a tough fight later in the game. What is this fairy disguise? It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Stay 
out of this. Damn, dude, get manhandled. I see why they call you the boss. What was that? Some kind of judo? No, it's called CQC, a basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Splendid. I'll take it from here. Are you going to kill him? Of course. But first, I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. <laughs> Stop it! Who have you been talking to? He doesn't know what you're talking about. You'd better start talking. Please, stop this! Who is Khrushchev's last dog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. Never do that. You! <laughs> I guess he's dead. <laughs> That's not. Mm. Don't swing that way. You've certainly seen your share of battles. It's not consensual, <laughs> Consider dude. Consider <laughs> yourself lucky. I am about to show you what hell is really like. Okay, dude. Well then, let's get started. Let's not. What is your target? Is it the Shagohad? <laughs> Or Sokolov. Or maybe it's the legacy. Answer me. Who is helping you? Who let you in here? Whoa. Solid, I mean, uh, naked snake You're doesn't a tough break. One. But even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Here's 
where the fun really begins. My body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Get the old force lightning through. Now answer me. How much does the CIA know? They're after my legacy, aren't they? Your real target is the philosopher's legacy, isn't it? Somebody always got to piss themselves in the middle That's of your game. That's what but... I want to see. Yeah, this dude's definitely weird. It's no use. He's not going to talk. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. <sighs> Admit it! We're after the location of the legacy! The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? One hundred billion dollars! Divided up and hidden all over the world! That's a lot of cheese. And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? No matter. The Philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. You'll never live. What's this? A transmitter? Who's responsible for this? I am. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. Why? So the Cobras could ambush him. If they, they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. It pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances... I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that. Damn, yeah, even but he feared the boss. He is your apprentice. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Yes, it'll make for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it! Ruin him, just as he did the Cobras! Stop! What is it, Tanya? He suffered enough. Well, well. Why are you protecting him? Smell. 
Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? I know that smell. Stop it! I cut that out of Delta because of fancy to her. <laughs> to hey, generation, lot? yeah. That won't slide. No, I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. I'll let this be the judge. Do as you like. Here we go. Stay getting bitch slapped. There. Satisfied now? <laughs> well, that was refreshing. <laughs> Come. We're going to my room. That transmitter back in my back. So you survived the colonel's torture, eh? Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> You got lucky this time, Tatiana. I had to do that, didn't you? That's gonna come in handy later. Run. I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're quiet. Manhole. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Eva. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. I'll be in touch. I'm actually going to leave the face cam off. Let me get that fork. Time to eat. Let me do something real quick. Huh? That code the saw was sold up was that? actually the code to open this uh this gate, but there's a cutscene I wanna see, so I'm not gonna do it quite just yet. Uh transmitter and a fake death pill. Let's get that out. And fake death pill. I'll take this. I can fake death pill my way out of here. I 
I think, of course, there's nothing in there. Stop eating shit off the floor, especially frogs. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have removed that transmitter because I'm going to miss out on the cutscene, but removing it, I don't have to deal with uh, a bunch of ocelots later. I mean, they're not hard to sneak by. Come on. That shit right there. Well, to your loss. I don't like that swallow. I do just devour the fish. <laughs> there we go. Is that cutscene I was talking about? Hey, you're not such a bad guy after all. I, uh,. <laughs> I guess not all Americans are dogs. I think that was a compliment. Yeah. You know, before the war started, I used to live in America. Should have stayed. I even had a, a wife and a kid. You must be pretty lonely. Yeah, I am pretty lonely. Really lonely. What's your kid's name? Johnny. Johnny, nice ring to it. Familiar name. Really? You like it? Well, if you say so, I'll believe you. Actually, my name is Johnny, too. All the firstborn sons in my family are called Johnny. My dad's a Johnny, and my son's son will One, probably four, be a four, Johnny, seven, too. Five. A whole clan of Johnnies. Why do we have a Cold War anyway? Our two countries used to be such good friends. Yeah, I hear you. <sighs> I just want to see my family again. Must be rough. Yeah. Not as rough as you have it, though. Here. I filched them from your equipment when the colonel wasn't looking. Appreciate that. That's gonna come in handy. It's uh, the least I can do. Well? Don't suppose you could let me out of here. Huh? Well, I can't do that. Hey, don't you go getting any funny ideas. If you try to escape, I'll have to shoot you. Man, just follow north. I've really said too much. Guy. I gotta go.
Okay, I think this guy is out of sight for now. There we go. Huh? Oh! Oh! Ah! I'm asleep, dude. Oh, I'll take that camera. There's one of those frog things. I don't really reckon there's anything in here for me. This is where I was getting my ass whooped. I will definitely, uh... Oh. Definitely eat now. Eat that rat. Okay. Okay. Let's go over here real quick. I'll take that. Huh? Ah! Not denying for him. Doo -doo. Since I ain't got no weapons, we're in the stealth our way. turn around should be good here okay let's try not to get killed this time Fix that searchlight. I gotta get him to turn around. Hopefully I'll walk over here and investigate this box. Okay, he's walking away so I can probably sneak by now. Let's let that light turn one more time. Gotta be careful. And I see that dog over there. There's a dog to the right over there. Let me sneak up on this guy and six spray him. <gasps> Get past that dog. quietest footprints of all time. Okay, I should be good here. Here we go.
Someone's okay, someone's a Someone's calling. Eva. Yeah, I just got down here. Mm. I'm coming to meet you now. The door at the north end is open, right? Uh, Snake? Let me guess. There's a problem. Yeah. What is it this time? The Colonel found out you escaped. He did, That's not uh, good. I figured as much. Yeah, and now all of Grozny Grad is on red alert. Just my luck. But once I'm out of the fortress... You can't get out. I can't? When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. You've got to be kidding me. I'm serious. And that means the escape route I laid out is... Is sealed off, too. Right. And they just sent a unit out looking for you. Down uh -oh. here? Uh-huh. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it, Snake. If they find you, you're dead. Okay, I guess we better book it. Let me get this. I don't know if people actually come while you're in here, but I'm not trying to uh, stick around to find out, so... Let's just get on out of here. I don't see anything over there. time for this. Sorry, dog, I ain't got time to play with you today. I think a lot of that rat gave me a mini jump. Alright, freedom. I've been waiting for this. Nobody interfere.
boss fight slash cinematic experience. Kill him, he killed himself. He blew himself up. No, I don't want to hug you, buddy. That is gonna shoot like laser beams at me or so. There goes my friend the fear. Psycho Manus. 
and uh, MGS4. We'll meet again someday. Send a spirit to the uh, other realm. They were understood why they never took Snake's Snake, code during the right? torture scenes. It was a close call. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was... Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with... Well, special powers. He had ESP, which was the subject of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. A medium? Someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigin? Yo! I finished checking up on this Sorrow guy a while ago. Thought you guys already knew, though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. He died two years ago? At Salino Yarsk. You know, those cliffs you were at. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Salino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Eva? Snake, you didn't Good, call. I was worried. Are you all right? Yeah, I took a pretty freaky Good. detour. What are you talking about? Well, a consolation prize. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. But how did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? You're out of control. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean, that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Behind that waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. See you there. 